Hi, I'm Alex, and I will tell you what's ozone, why it's important for mankind, and what was the progress that my team has done this year. All right, so what's ozone? It's the layer that abstracts the UI and its numerous objects like browser windows, cursors, <laughs> UI events, keyboard input, and so on. And uh, for those of you who know, who has some idea what the UI looks inside, uh, ozone is below aura. Uh, we have started working on it a few years ago when the client requested support for VLAN Compositor, which in terms of ozone means adding the so-called platform implementation for Wayland. Some of you would ask here, maybe, so what? Wayland, but that's Linux, right? Who needs that? And it's not a joke because I've heard questions like this from many people, including Chromium developers, because Linux is quite minor on desktops, and while Android is massive, it's not really Linux in terms of UI. It uses a different stack. So a better question here would be, which Linux? And the answer is the embedded one. Guess how large it is. That large, half billion devices. It's uh, smart TVs, home appliances, uh, interactive kiosks and screens, cars, and many, many more. And uh, most of those devices are not capable of running X11, which is the de facto standard for a workstation Linux. But Wayland is much faster. It's like 10 or 15 times faster than uh, X11. That's why it's perfect for low-end devices. And desktops will benefit too because many major Linux distributions now, nowadays migrate to Wayland. So what's done? Today, the Wayland port is quite functional. It's OK for daily tasks like browsing the web. Sometimes it may crash, but it's OK. And we, we use it for just for working. The X11 backend is on its way. Uh, it has more issues to fix. And also, we have set up the CI configuration. So we have bots which run uh, tests with all enabled. And uh, now, finally, it looks like we will ship it soon, maybe in half a year or so. If you are a, a Linux user, you can try it at home. I mean, Ozone. So you can see some additional GNRs to build it. Everything is in the Chromium repository. And when you build it, you need a single additional command line argument to enable the backend for X11 or Wayland. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.